Ah, uh, I'm so, so, so sorry. <laughs> Bad end. <laughs> I and I arrive at Edgy Elementary. Whoa. This place looks more haunted than I expected. We, we should have filmed here. So, what do we do? <laughs> I explained about the last time I was here. Only a quick rundown, but it should be enough for her to understand. There isn't much left to investigate on the first floor. We need to check out the second floor. Okay, time to go up then. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> I want to see something cool. Pretty neat, huh? I'm going to check all these again. Hey, I check out this bed. I just completely discovered. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, fine. Wait, check this one. Fair enough. Whoa, what's this? It's a wall with nothing on it. I tap around on the wall. I don't know why, but I've seen people on shows do it, and I think that's how you check walls. Huh? What's wrong? It's not super obvious, but the center portion of the wall seems paler than the rest. If only I had enough skill to be able to tell if it was hollow or not by the sound. The thickness just kind of feels different to me. Oh, I see. What should I do? Smash it down! Uh, hammer. I take out the hammer. I put the flashlight down and grip it with both hands. Huh? Don't tell me. This could call attention to me, but this is where Hanahiko was. I don't think another spirit would come here. Uh, I'll just try once. Uh, I'll take it down in one swing. I gather my courage and swing the hammer against that wall with all my might. Well, that's a familiar looking hole in the wall. And a large hole, larger than I expected, opens up. I anxiously wait to see if I drew a spirit close. Luckily, it doesn't seem like anything's coming. That went a lot better than I thought it would. You're brave. Okay, I opened the hole. Now you go through. I hesitantly stick my hand inside. Whoa! Something cold coils around my fingers. It seems I've stirred up whatever was nesting in there. If I don't deal with that first, I won't be able to check out the hole. All right. I take out the hatchet, but what do I do with it? Oh, oh, come on. Just start stabbing in there. Back away. Um. I see wriggling in the darkness. <clears throat> Something has built a nest inside. If I don't deal with that first, I won't be able to check out the hole. Whoa. What the heck? I return to the landing with the cracked mirror. I stare into the mirror, recalling how I felt back then. I quickly look away. I shine my light up at the ceiling instead. But there's nothing there anymore. There are no traces of the rose vines or of the guard's corpse. What's up? Nothing, apparently. No, it's nothing. I just wanted to check something. Spirits can do a lot of weird things, but can they really make corpses disappear? 
That would be ridiculous. Uh, uh, there's also something else missing here. I don't know if you maybe noticed, but you know, all the blood. It's a cracked mirror. It's hard to see a reflection. There's cracks in the mirror. Nothing else particularly odd about it. I run my finger down the cracks. I watches me worriedly, but nothing happens. Smash this thing. No. Okay. Check out these snakes. Poisonous snakes cover the hallway. It'd be foolish to try to keep going. S -s snakes Don't shout. I slap my hand over Eye's mouth. It's the first physical contact I've had this entire game. We can't move forward. The only thing worse would be making noise and calling something here. It'll be fine if we leave quietly. I cautiously take a step backward. Suddenly, the snakes react to my bag. W what the? The snakes flit their tongues in the air, trying to smell something. After a moment, they begin to leave. They disappear into the darkness of the hall before I can even blink. They vanish without a sound all at once, as if they'd never been there to begin with. Huh? Why? I don't know. It looked like the snakes were sniffing my bag. That red notebook is inside. Maybe this smell made them think we were friends. Let's try going down the hallway. I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, yeah? Let's both do our best. It seems to be locked. The door to the music room is locked. Oh, can't interact with it. Mm -hmm. The piano plays somewhere. That was a piano, right? <laughs> I still my breath and strain to hear any noises, but it doesn't seem like anyone's here. Oh. She picks up something off the ground. It's a piece of sheet music. Got sheet music. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. It looks like piano sheet music. Oh, that takes me back. I played this song when I was a kid. You play piano? Uh, well, kind of. I am a singer after all. I, uh, yeah, I know that. Well, I'll count on you if we need that. Okay, I got this. Okay. I don't know, I think I liked Kaoru better as far as cute girls go. Looks like things like bulletin boards used to be on the wall, but they were all taken down. I look out of the schoolyard through the window, but I don't see anything moving around. The blackboard is covered in dents and scratches, and it's probably too damaged to use. No talismans, no nothing. I want to go back to this music room. The door to the music room is locked. Still? Come on. That seemed to be a classic turn around and try the door again hint. This one we ever looked in? No. Oops. There's a talisman. I try feeling around inside the desk and find something soft. It's a wadded up piece of paper. I open it and see several sentences. Hmm. Huh. It seems to be something someone failed to destroy. Got fragment S. Talisman? One of the fixtures holding up the light is broken. Probably shouldn't risk walking under it. Hmm. 
jumble of wires wrapped around the door handle. I pull on the wire, but it won't move. It's been carefully and tightly wound. Plus, it's pretty thick. It'd be impossible to cut it. Do I have something that can disintegrate metal? How about... Uh, hatchet? I swing the hatchet down on the wire hard. It makes a dull noise, but the blade only puts a dent in the wire. If I don't hit it on top of a hard surface, it'll be hard to cut it. Uh, let's hit it with the hammer and hatchet from both directions. I take out the hammer. But what will I do with it? I don't have any particular good ideas. I feel like I just had a pretty good idea game. Hmm. Oh, I should have read this. A portion of a memo. Wave, can, control, shock, the, this, crete, is that, great, this is, to keep it locked. So there's some kind of creature that should be kept locked up. What's this? A cold wind blows in from the broken windows. Something's in between the window and its frame, a talisman. I slide the broken window open and the trapped paper falls out. Got a worn out talisman. I pick up the worn out talisman. There we go. Good to have a little bit of insurance. I can't hear any man made sounds coming in through the window. Only leaves rustling in the wind. It doesn't look like the fluorescent light is broken, but it stays dark. Ooh, here's a good one. Is that blood? Probably. Blood dries black. More like paint. Something is scrawled on the blackboard. I. Zen. It looks like the letters spell Eisen. There are more after that, but... They aren't legible. Hmm, I don't know. The handwriting is terrible. Some really upset Bleach fanboy. That arc was shit. Flecks of red are all over the floor. They smell like iron. The plant in the flower pot has wilted. I lift it up and uncover a dirty piece of paper. Alright, another talisman. That's good. Eisen. And that's the oh, Japanese, so it could be going in the opposite direction, I think. Or yeah, right? No. If it's one line, it's usually this way, I think. I think. I think. I think. Long desks and what look like sinks loom in the darkness of the classroom. This looks familiar. This seems to be... Is this the science lab? S still. I grimaces. It really stinks in here. I feel like I'm going to suffocate. It's an irritating stench that stings the eyes. The putrid smell fills the whole room like a box of onions has gone rotten. Even so, it's not like we can just leave. Let's get this done quickly so we can move on. Hmm. Jeez, with Mary gone, I wonder if it'll even be a two-phase investigation or not. There's no reason to go anywhere else. There's a talisman in the dirty stink. Got some spirit juice. Oh yeah. The desk is scorched. Seems there's more fire damage in here than in the staff room. This is probably where the fire started. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. This looks like a tank shot it, not like fire. This <laughs> is sort of weird. Like, this looks like a, a battlefield, not a, a fire damage. Open the door and left the science lab. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's going to be a spooky. No? There are 
materials used in science class. It's a number of books and materials and encyclopedias about animals. I grab one and flip through the pages. There are a ton of notes inside, scribbled in thin letters. It seems there are simple explanations for the students. I take out the last book, and when I look inside, a scrap of paper falls from between the pages. Oh boy, we're going to have quite some battles here. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel worth 3,000 soul power. We've never had that much. The highest it's been is 2,500. What kind of stuff has the game got in store for us? It's an elaborate anatomical model. Hmm. Taking a closer look, I notice a huge tear in its mouth. It's making the mouth look bigger than it should. It's almost like an arm was forcibly shoved down it and I couldn't handle the strain. Uh huh. Well, let's check out what's in the mouth. Would that mean something is hiding either in the mouth or the torso? <clears throat> I could break it, but then I might break whatever's inside too. Nothing for it but to stick my hand in. I, you know, a girl's wrist and hand is a lot smaller. She should stick her hand in here. I hesitantly stick my hand into the mouth. Something cylindrical is inside. I grab it and try to pull it out. Yeah. It's a snake head. Roused by the movement, snakes begin pouring out of every crevasse. Watch out! I stumble backwards. The snakes slowly retreat back into the model. Seems they live inside it. I bet something's hidden in there. To get it, I'll have to find a way to pacify the snakes. I open the cupboard and check inside, but all I find is trash and dust. It's a sturdy wooden cabinet. The cabinet door is open easily. The inside is completely full to bursting with something. Snakes? I pull it out and discover that it's snakes. Oh, it's a garbage bag full of snake shredded paper. Got office trash. Aw, uh, yeah. More trash. Uh, are you seriously planning on taking that with you? I mean, not that I care. When I lift up the bag, an unshredded wad of paper falls to the floor at my feet. I open it up and see several complete sentences. Guess they failed to destroy this section. Got fragment I. Hmm. It's a shelf packed with numerous chemicals. Getting closer, I see some large containers. Oh boy. Hey, we saw hands like that earlier, didn't we? Whose hands are those? Whose hands are those? Ah. I hear I gasp behind me. Hands, ears, eyeballs. Body pieces that used to belong to a human are floating in liquid, perfectly preserved. It can't be. There's no way they'd use these as educational aids. They're extremely fresh for being samples, probably because they were cut from a living body. But it doesn't seem like it's been that long since any of them were severed. And yet it's covered in cobwebs. Other than jars with human body parts, the cabinet has several containers of chemicals. I know they're not alive anymore, but it takes a measure of courage to search body parts. I stick my hand inside, half closing my eyes, and feel around the shelf. I is something there? Well, yeah. I stop myself from voicing my frustration. I can't make I do something like this. I search the chemicals, formalin containers, unidentified samples, every nook and cranny. I find a few things I can use. A clear bottle with a liquid inside. It has a label of chemical formula on it. 
A brown bottle that has an irritating smell. Its label is rotted and unreadable. And finally, a bottle wrapped in foil. It smells faintly of flowers, but it's likely just some kind of chemical as well. Is that everything? Once I'm done looking around, I stand up. A vinyl bundle in the corner catches my eye. I pick it up and realize that it's a tightly wrapped bundle of clothes. A white coat stands out the most. Must be a lab coat. Got a bundle of clothes. A white lab coat? Well, we are in a science lab. No big surprise to find one here. That rumor about a ghost in white. I and Yasuoka got their marks while filming a TV show about it at K. Miyamachi. And all the other clothes, along with the coat, have been folded meticulously. Is it really just a coincidence? I forget. Did we... I feel like we saw a hand with rings just like that earlier in the game. Hands, ears, eyeballs, body pieces that used to belong to a human are floating in liquid, perfectly preserved. Taking a closer look, I notice a large tag on the side of a container. Great Azura. The letters are messy, but legible. Great Azura. Down must mean below where we currently are. Would that mean the first floor? Recalling the school's layout, I think there are, was a similar storage area on the first floor. I'm not sure what it means, but it might be important. I decided to take the tag just in case. See, what I just did there was I looked at the shelf. But earlier, I felt the shelf. And I got different results for the two. This is the first time in the game where looking at something produced something useful. I almost always, like, anytime I can remember, I have to use feel to find something actually useful. The first one just gives a description. Alright, back down the stairs, I guess. Uh, what? A broadcast? Do you have any brains? A strange voice echoes over the intercom. Do the test immediately. Table on the table. Static crackles before being cut off. Is she watching us from somewhere? She said something like, Something might be on the desk. Let's take a look. First, though, I want to know what the these chemicals are. A vial with a white label that reads CH3CH2OH. CH3CH2OH. Ethanol. All right. A brown opaque bottle that smells a bit like chlorine. The corroded... Is that how you spell corroded? Label reads, handled with care. A bottle completely covered in aluminum foil. The label reads, ID5. It has a fresh floral scent. Acetic acid. I don't know what that is. So ID5 is some kind of potent acid, I guess. On the desk scattered with lab equipment is a small pencil and problem sheet. Are we supposed to fill this out? Uh, I take a sidelong glance at the problem sheet. I see what look like chemistry symbols. Looks like this is a science test. Something's written at the top in messy letters. Remember the experiments? That's right. I found several bottles of chemicals in the storage room. Were those chemicals used in some sort of experiments? Well... Sounds easy. I got Google. I pick up the pencil and turn over the paper. Begin the test. Oh, this is going to be timed, isn't it? 
Oh. Compound A is widely used as fuel or disinfectant. Well, then that would be ethanol, of course. Uh, CH2OH, I believe, was what it said. Ah, oh, this is why they give us all this stuff. Okay. Number two, compound N is an exemplary acid and contains a salt that reacts to various metals. Which statement about compound N is true? needs a light proof container since it was contained in a light proof container. Number three, it stinks when it's thick and fragrant when it's thin. What compound is it? Uh, what was that other one? Hopefully I'll remember when I see it. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, ID5, would it be this one? <laughs> it seems we passed the test. At the end of the answer sheet. The next test is in the room next door. Proceed there quickly, students. Well then... It sounds like there are other tests. Are we being tested? Maybe. I mean, that's what tests are for. But why? I'm concerned, but I don't feel like guessing. A more immediate topic should be discussed now that my senses are assaulted. Also, this thing really reeks. I didn't notice when I was focusing on the test, but the answer sheet stinks terribly. It's a hundred times worse than that notebook, like a zoo in the dead of summer. I shut it tightly in a random pouch in my bag so the smell doesn't spread. I narrows her eyes at me. M Mr. Tenma, are you sure you closed your bag? It still rinks in here. Huh? I is right. The smell has definitely gotten stronger instead of weaker. Sorry, I'll check. I look down to double check my bag. What am I looking at? I spot something that looks like a box down on the floor behind the desk. Oh. My instincts realize what it is before my brain does. Hands and feet stick out of the blood soaked cover. Inside that box is. I've got to check to make sure, but I can't make myself move. Did you find something? Stay back! The low, sharp tone that comes out of my mouth startles even me. Just stay back. I'll check it. After gathering my courage, I reach out. I pull off the thick sheet. Oh, is this the cop? That hat's familiar. So are the clothes. There's no mistake. It's the corpse of that guard who was hanging from the ceiling with Moe Watanabe. What happened to Moe Watanabe beside... Did she get sucked into the mirror somehow? It'd be pre pretty great if we found out she was still alive. I mean, we won't, but it'd be pretty great. I collapsed to my knees. A horrible feeling comes barreling up through my chest. Are you all right? There's, there's a corpse. That's where the smell was coming from. A corpse? Then let's get the heck out of here, yeah? I drag myself up woodenly like a puppet on strings. The classroom next door. Huh? The next test is in the classroom next door. Let's go there. Right. Okay, understood. 
Uh, it's probably shaking, but she's putting on a brave front anyway. Even an act like that is helpful at a time like this. After all, there's no time to waste. Whoever carried this corpse here could be lurking around the corner. We're going to use that sheet on this here thing and make all the snakes come out. I take out all the answer sheets. All one of them. Gather them up and hold them up to the model. The snakes clearly react to it. But unfortunately, that's all that happens. Hmm, not quite. What I have now doesn't seem effective. It might be different if I had more of them. With the way this school is laid out, we should be right under the science storage room. That reminds me. There was a strange tag attached to the formalin container. I'm pretty sure it said, Great Azura, down emoji. Does that mean the Great Azura is below? Then that tag would be referring to this room. I take a thorough look around the room. There's the wall where I made a hole. Alright, let's try all of these things. Uh, I take out the clear bottle and pour its liquid inside the hole. The shadows inside the hole flail about for a while, but then go back to normal. Okay. I take out the brown bottle and pour its liquid inside the hole. And now all I can smell is the horrible stench of burning animal flesh. The surviving snakes panic and dash out of the hole. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I should have known that would probably be a bad idea. Let's try now the foil wrapped bottle. I take out the foil wrapped bottle and pour its liquid inside the hole, but it's not particularly effective. Hmm. What else have we got? I take out the answer sheet. I've taken it out, but I can't think of where to use it. Hmm. All right, let's go back. There's a pencil and problem sheet on the desk. I take a glance at the problem sheet. There are a number of long sentences. Looks like this is a science test. Something's written at the top in messy letters. Read the blackboard. Oh, that'll be good. The blackboard? I'm supposed to read it? I'm not sure that scribble is really important, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, well, it said Eisen, right? Whatever. Let's do this. I pick up the pencil and turn over the paper. <laughs> Begin the test. Question one. Believing in the Buddha is important. The Buddha is extremely vi- Oh, this is going to be like... Parts of the sentence and stuff, right? Must believe in the incredibly strong, great, really strong, great eye, like an angel, the greatest stench of purple. What? Is this supposed to be hard? Snakes love heat. This disaster is called the... Uh, uh, 
about the crimson age of decline. It's going to be critical, isn't it? Oh, okay. Question three. I carry the great eyes talisman every day and seek rebirth. The talisman is important. It is a greater treasure than the brain or heart or life itself. Why are these weirdly capitalized? Oh, you can tell they're, they've actually gone insane now. It's all randomly capitalized and stuff. It in art. It in art. Shown words, deeds. sheet. Next test. Two rooms over. Don't enter the classroom next door. Off limits. <laughs> well, that's succinct. Don't go into the classroom next door. Why? Maybe she's got a secret in there. But now I want to see it even more. That makes two of us. Pretty much. She probably didn't think it through before. Hmm? It sounds like something is hitting the wall. That noise. Was it from the room next door? Sounds like something's in there. Let's check out the room next door. We can do the next test later. Uh, I think this is going to be a bad end. Anything else in here? No talismans that just came out of nowhere. I'm going to save. Seems prudent. Use the foil wrapped bottle, I think. No, that's not it. That's fine. I take the brown bottle out of my bag and stare at the label. It has a usage warning on it, and it smells like chlorine. It could be some sort of strong acid that can melt metal. Should we try it? I take off the lid and slowly pour the liquid on the wire. If I accidentally get some on the keyhole, it could be a problem. No rush. Just a little at a time. There's a faint bubbling noise and a smell that's indescribable. It seems like it's working like we hoped. Is it melting? Yeah. Then... I think that should do it. I pull on the wire again. This time it comes out of the keyhole easily. Nice! You're smart, Mr. Tenma. I'm not quite sure how to respond to that. But in any case, now we can investigate this room. Let's look inside. Discarded the emptied brown bottle. I'm starting to think this lady might be crazy. The instant I open the classroom door, something glints in the darkness. Then a horrible stench makes me choke. Ugh. Is this blood? Beneath my feet. It feels like I'm stepping in something soft like mud. This would be a much more effective uh, thing if we couldn't see what we're looking at just be only the flashlight area visible now. I shine my light into the room. I think this is what's called viscera. What the hell is this room? It's as if I stepped into a slaughterhouse. The scene before me is horrific. These are all fresh too. 
organs scattered across the floor, chunks of meat, an overwhelming amount of blood, and blank, glassy-eyed animal head lined up across desks. Ugh. Eye sinks to the floor, covering her mouth. Maybe don't do that, actually. The words sacrificial rite come to mind. But why the hell? Let's check it out. We need to look around. I'm trying to convince myself by saying it twice. Suddenly... Huh? There's a sound from the window ledge. Is someone here? I make my way past the animal heads to peer cautiously at the line of desks near the window. A naked body is lying in a pool of red. Countless snakes are slithering over her. Owen almost looks like an animal waiting for dissection. Actually, whoever did this to her might have been planning to do just that. Hey, hey, come help me. Someone's trapped. We grab onto her legs and hurry to drag her out of the swarm of snakes. I'm worried about her snake bites, but I don't see any other large wounds. Are you okay? Hang in there. I speaks to her, but the woman doesn't reply. Her eyes are half open, staring vaguely. We can't let her die. Let's get her back to the mansion. She should be able to walk if we help her. <laughs> okay. Sure, but she's, uh, naked? Is this really the time to be worried about that? But speaking of clothes, I just remembered. Here, she can wear this. I unwrap the bundle of clothes and uh, pull the lab coat out for her to wear. Oh, yeah. Rah, that place is off limits. Noise from the broadcast reverberates in the room. My flashlight blinks out. Mark's color grows more vivid. Early dawn, a few hours left until death closes in. Damn it, she noticed. We were being so careful, too. <laughs> what should we do? We need to get out of here. I know Etchy Elementary's layout pretty well. I should be able to find my way without a light. We've got to hurry. Let's help her up. Curious to know what would happen if we didn't go in there. Ooh, we're in spooky town again. <sighs> I take a deep breath from the back seat. It sounds like a world weary old person groan. Oh, did you just think I sounded like an old lady? I don't care what you think. I'm not performing right now. I'm on break. Uh, is this what they call a woman's intuition? Or did she just read my mind? Uh, does that woman look like she'll be okay? We covered her securely with a lab coat, but I still hesitate to look in the rearview mirror. Don't stare. Privacy is important, even in emergencies. I'm not trying to look, I promise. I'm clearly doing my best not to. Come on. She looks exhausted, but calm. Maybe she's sleeping. Um, Mr. Tenma? Hmm? Hmm? I saw it. What did you see? I tried to keep my tone innocent. A mark on her body when we were putting the coat on her. Mm. Oh. So we've added another to our number. Wait, what did he think we were, she was talking about? <laughs> uh, better not have been something perverted, Tenma. Come on. My heart drops when I think about how I'll have to tell her the truth of what's happening, but that doesn't mean I can avoid it. We'll have to tell her. Yeah, I hope she doesn't get depressed. She's surprisingly collected about this. Maybe she learned that to be able to make a living in the entertainment world. I have a name, you know. 
Mm -hmm. The mystery woman seemed asleep, but she suddenly speaks up. Is it Azura? You were awake? Sorry, we didn't know your name. I'm Madoka Hiro. I don't care what happens. All I want is to take a shower as soon as possible. Welcome back. Oh, and who's that with you? Later. Hurry and get a bath ready. We lay a pale-faced hero on the sofa and immediately start treating her wounds. With her guiding us, we're able to give her proper first aid. There's a lot of swelling, but at least it seems like none of the snakes were poisonous. After we finish, her face gradually regains its color. Hiro emerges from the upstairs wearing the clothing we found in the science lab. Apparently they had been hers. Ugh, I almost died. Thanks for saving me, I guess. Hmm. Judging by that casual comment, it seems she's recovered her composure. She is still pretty pale, but she doesn't look shaken up anymore. They only wanted to torment me, not kill. Small mercies. Otherwise, I would have choked on poison or been snake food by now. Spirits drag the living to the depths of despair before killing them. That's what Mary had told me before. Thanks to that nefarious nature of theirs, she was able to be saved. Um, you sure you're feeling okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I bounce back fast. Who knows if that's true or if she's just putting up an act, but... Regardless, her emotional strength is impressive. So, what were you doing in the school? That's what I'd like to know. I was chasing after a woman named Manabi Zukawa. I must have fainted. When I woke up, I was there. Zukawa. Zu. Could that be Ms. Zu? Ms. Zu? Oh yeah, I heard that was her nickname from when she was a teacher. So, why were you chasing... Hold up. My question's first. Who are you people? We give her a basic rundown of the situation. She listens quietly, but I can tell from her expression she's not convinced. I see. I understand. But believing you is something else. You say Zukawa might have become an inhuman monster? Save that talk for writing horror stories. Her face twitches briefly. How is it that you know this Ms. Zukawa? She's a colleague from the lab. Not a lot of women work there, so we ended up talking together. And the second I let down my guard... Sounds like Zukawa caused some trouble. She stole something important from me. At first I had no idea where she disappeared to, but I searched her room in the dorm and learned where she's holed up. Going off her recent credit purchases, she's been shopping at H-City. What? A spirit that goes shopping? People would panic if something like that appeared in a grocery store. What? Don't tell me you're serious. Wait, I know you. You're Ai Kashiwagi from Love and Hero. You seemed idiotic on TV, so I guess it wasn't just an act. <laughs> hey, that's really rude. Supposing you're right and she's a monster, there's no way she'd go out in public. She's obviously used the phone. I even checked with the company. A woman's voice asked them to bring the goods to a designated area. Paid in advance with a bank transfer, so the company delivered as ordered. Oh, and the delivery location happens to be a warehouse by Etchy Elementary. And just what were those goods? Animals. No idea what connections she pulled, but they're from pet stores and ranches. Dogs, cats, pigs, snakes, horses... She even managed to get a reindeer and ostriches. Black market, too. Spared no expense. With the Ms. Zoo name, maybe she was starting a zoo or something. What happened to those animals? For real? She must not have noticed since she was in and out of consciousness at the time. But based on what we found in the room she was held in, I can hazard a guess. So I waited at the empty warehouse for Zukawa to come. 
At some point, I fainted. Next I know I'm butt naked in, in that terrible position you found me in. I'm sure she was behind it. So then, is that also when you got your mark? Mark? Oh, you mean this scar. I still don't believe it, but even if Zukawa happens to be a spirit, then I didn't get it from her. I had it before I went to H-City. Oh, really? She's, she's going to be hanging out with us for a bit. What? Where'd you get it? Chill, no need to be so upset. I suddenly had it when I woke up nine days ago. Did you go to any haunted places the day before? Don't be ridiculous. Don't lump me in with inappropriately dressed idols like you. <laughs> the same goes for this scar. As if something like this could kill you or give you amnesia. Not only is that unscientific, it's absurd. Absolutely impossible. She's yelling, but that doesn't hide how she's shaking like a leaf. She's clearly more frightened now than when she was talking about the snakes. I guess she has a fear of the supernatural too, just like Sho. Ahem. That's all I can tell you. You're going after Zukawa, right? I'll help out. Are you truly alright with that? You might die. I don't plan on letting that happen, but if it does, so be it. I hate the idea that people can be happy just by being alive. I'm a scholar. Life is for satisfying my intellectual curiosity. And for that, I need to get that thing back from that thieving hag. So it's more important than your life? What in the world did she steal from you? Seems she doesn't plan on answering that. But we've no reason to turn her down. We should accept her help. Okay, Mr. Tenma. Let's get back to H.E. Elementary. Hmm. I am definitely going to save it here for tonight. It's uh, just past midnight and I, uh, I screwed up every line there like three times in a row um, but I feel like probably at the end of this chapter honestly man I'm so bummed Mary's dead I hope she'll come back somehow like maybe there'll be another doll and she'll be in it instead 